Shemot chapter 29. Here is what you are to do to consecrate them for ministry to me in the office of Cohen. Take one bull and two rams without defect, also matzah, matzah cakes mixed with olive oil and matzah wafers spread with oil, all made from fine wheat flour. Put them together in a basket and present them in the basket along with the bull and the two rams. Bring Aharon and his sons to the entrance of the tent of meeting and wash them with water. Take the garments and put on Aharon the tunic, the robe for the ritual vest, the vest itself, and the breastplate. Fasten the vest on him with its belt. Put the turban on his head and attach the holy ornament to the turban. Then take the anointing oil and anoint him by pouring it on his head. Bring his sons, put tunics on them, wrap sashes around them, Aharon and his sons, and put the headgear on their heads. The office of Cohen is to be theirs by a permanent regulation. Thus you will consecrate Aharon and his sons. Bring the young bull to the front of the tent of meeting. Aharon and his sons are to lay their hands on the bull's head, and you are to slaughter the bull in the presence of Jehovah at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Take some of the bull's blood and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger. Pour out all the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. Take all the fat that covers the inner organs, the covering of the liver and the two kidneys with their fat, and offer them up in smoke on the altar. But the bull's flesh, skin, and dung you are to destroy by fire outside the camp. It is a sin offering. Take one of the rams. Aharon and his sons are to lay their hands on the ram's head. You are to slaughter the ram, take its blood, and splash it on all sides of the altar. Quarter the ram, wash the inner organs and the lower parts of the legs, and put them with the quarters and the head, and offer up the whole ram in smoke on the altar. It is a burnt offering for Jehovah, a pleasing aroma, an offering made to Jehovah by fire. Take the other ram. Aharon and his sons are to lay their hands on the ram's head, and you are to slaughter the ram. Take some of its blood and put it on the lobe of Aharon's right ear, on the lobes of his son's right ears on the thumbs of their right hands and on the big toes of their right feet. Take the rest of the blood and splash it on all sides of the altar. Then take some of the blood that is on the altar and some of the anointing oil and sprinkle it on Aharon in his clothing and on his sons and the clothing of his sons with him so that he and his clothing will be consecrated and with him his sons and his sons clothing. Also take the fat from the ram, the fat tail, the fat that covers the inner organs, the two kidneys, the fat covering them, and the right thigh, for it is a ram of consecration, along with one loaf of bread, one cake of oiled bread, and one wafer from the basket of matzah, which is before Jehovah, and put it all in the hands of Aharon and his sons. They are to wave them as a wave offering in the presence of Jehovah. Then take them back and burn them up in smoke on the altar, on top of the burnt offering, to be a pleasing aroma before Jehovah. It is an offering made to Jehovah by fire. Take the breast of the ram for Aharon's consecration and wave it as a wave offering before Jehovah. It will be your share. Consecrate the breast of the wave offering and the thigh of any contribution that has been waved and raised up, whether from the ram of consecration or from anything else meant for Aharon or his sons. This will belong to Aharon and his sons as their share perpetually due from the people of Israel. It will be a contribution from the people of Israel, from their peace offerings, their contribution to Jehovah. The holy garments of Aharon will be used by his sons after him. They will be anointed and consecrated in them. The son who becomes Kohen in his place, who comes into the tent of meeting to serve in the holy place, is to wear them for seven days. Take the ram of consecration and boil its meat in a holy place. Aharon and his sons will eat the ram's meat and the bread in the basket at the entrance to the tent of meeting. They are to eat the things with which atonement was made for them, to inaugurate and consecrate them. No one else may eat this food because it is holy. If any of the meat for the consecration or any of the bread remains until morning, burn up what remains. It is not to be eaten because it is holy. Carry out all these orders I have given you concerning Aharon and his sons. You are to spend seven days consecrating them. 
each day. Offer a young bull as a sin offering, besides the other offerings of atonement. Offer the sin offering on the altar as your atonement for it, then anoint it to consecrate it. Seven days you will make atonement on the altar and consecrate it. Thus the altar will be especially holy, and whatever touches the altar will become holy. Now this is what you are to offer on the altar. Two lambs a year old, regularly, every day. The one lamb you are to offer in the morning, and the other lamb at dusk. With the one lamb, offer two quarts of finely ground flour mixed with one quart of oil from pressed olives, along with one quart of wine as a drink offering. The other lamb you are to offer at dusk. Do with it as with the morning grain and drink offerings. It will be a pleasing aroma, an offering made to Jehovah by fire. Through all your generations, this is to be the regular burnt offering at the entrance to the tent of meeting before Jehovah. There is where I will meet with you to speak with you. There I will meet with the people of Israel, and the place will be consecrated by my glory. I will consecrate the tent of meeting and the altar. Likewise, I will consecrate Aharon and his sons to serve me in the office of Cohen. Then I will live with the people of Israel and be their God. They will know that I am Jehovah their God, who brought them out of the land of Egypt in order to live with them. I am Jehovah their God.